Yeah, and it's so you know you post Copernicus, but Kepler is a contemporary of Galileo, pre Newton. So in four hundred years, we've gone from essentially uh, the, the same view of the natural world that we had in ancient Egypt or Greece. Or, yeah, I, I always think if you, if you took an ancient Egyptian from three thousand BC and put them in Greece about zero AD or so, they wouldn't be too surprised. There wouldn't be much they didn't understand. Right. Whereas from 1600-ish, 1550, 1600, the whole modern world has developed in 400 right. years because we worked out how to do science, I would argue. I mean, some historians will be watching going, it's a bit more than, than that, but I think... No, it's, it, with science it's as it is now practiced, took its tap roots in that era. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, where you have an hypothesis, you test it. Right. You don't just say something's true because it feels like it should be true. Right, it you has to be test it. Even something so obvious as the sun goes around the earth. That's right. so obvious, why even test it? And you test it, right. And so yeah. so this idea of testing, and we can't give short shrift to, what's your institute in? Oh, the Royal Society. The, the Royal yeah. Society, yes, of, yeah. of London. Was that what they? We, we just call it the Royal Society. No, excuse me. British of course. <laughs> okay. But that's <laughs> <not> very British. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Royal Society. The Royal Society. Uh -huh. As if there were another. No, no, right.